Hummingbirds are named for their prominent humming sound while flying and hovering to feed or interact with other hummingbirds. The humming is a form of communication for the purposes of alerting other birds of the arrival of a fellow forager or potential mate. The hum of hummingbirds during hovering is achieved by the elastic recoil of wing strokes produced by the main flight muscles, the pectoralis major, or the main downstroke muscle, and the supracoracoideus or the main upstroke muscle. Hummingbirds beat their wings at 88 beats per second at hover, and can go up to above 90 beats per second during courtship. The humming sound of hummingbirds is unique among flying animals, compared to the whine of mosquitoes, the buzz of bees, and the whoosh of larger birds. In the wild, hummingbirds visit flowers for food, extracting nectar which is 55% sucrose, 24% glucose, and 21% fructose. When the weather is cold a lot of energy is needed to stay warm, a hummingbird can drink up to three times their body weight in nectar. When insects are plentiful, they can survive without any nectar for long stretches of time. Hummingbird weights range from as small as 2 grams or 0.071 ounces, to as large as 20 grams or 0.71 ounces. The sexes differ in feather coloration, with males having distinct brilliance and ornamentation of head, neck, wing, and breast feathers. The most typical feather ornament in males is the gorget, a bib-like iridescent neck feather patch that changes brilliance with the viewing angle to attract females and warn male competitors of territory. The black-chinned hummingbird is one of New Mexico's premier hummingbirds. They tend to breed during the summer months along the Rio Grande Valley where nectar is plentiful. In the fall, around the end of September, the black-chinned hummingbirds migrate to the west coast of Mexico. According to the Bird Watch HQ website, this species is one of the most adaptable of the seven hummingbird species in New Mexico, and is found in various habitats such as mountain and alpine meadows, canyons with thickets, orchards, and urban areas. Sometimes, a bee will wander onto one of the feeders. That's okay, bees need nectar too for the production of honey. Lisa will wander by as well. She is there to make sure there is enough nectar to go around. Hummingbirds drink with their tongues, by rapidly lapping nectar from a flower or in this case, a feeder. For the most part, male and female hummingbirds keep mostly to themselves, especially when feeding. But sometimes one of the males may catch the eye of one of the female hummingbirds. They then tend to be playful with one another. Here a group of males gather to feed at the feeder on the right, while a lone female hummingbird feeds at the top left feeder. Occasionally she will tease one of the male hummingbirds by hovering nearby.
A bit later the male and female hummingbirds seem to change feeders with the males moving to the feeder at the top left while a couple of females feed at the feeder at the bottom right. When things get serious during courtship, and it's time to mate, a male hummingbird will dive from 100 feet or 30 meters of height above a female at speeds around 23 meters per second. The female is responsible for building a cup-shaped nest on a branch of a tree or even sometimes a thin wire. Many hummingbird species use spider silk and lichen to bind the nest material together and secure the structure. The unique properties of the silk allow the nest to expand as the young hummingbirds grow. Two white eggs, about the size of a coffee bean, are laid. Incubation lasts from 14 to 23 days, depending on the species, ambient temperature, and female attentiveness to the nest. When the eggs hatch, the mother feeds her nestling small arthropods and nectar by inserting her bill into the open mouth of a nestling and then regurgitating the food into its crop. Hummingbirds stay in the nest for 18 to 22 days, after which they leave the nest to forage on their own, although the mother bird may continue feeding them for another 25 days. The typical lifespan of this North American species is expected to be 3 to 5 years. That is the black-chinned hummingbird in our backyard in Los Lunas, New Mexico.